Hi, Linda Bowne here from StampingWithLinda.com, your cardiologist since 1997, helping you create cards from the heart. I hope that you are joining me from yesterday's wow moment as I explain the difference between the Stampin' uh, Right markers and the blend abilities. I did um, color on the back of the markers on that video. For this card, I have punched that out with a one and three quarter inch circle punch and the two and three eighth scallop punch. This is the Coastal Cabana. Now, Next what I'm going to do is bring in a half a sheet of the Crush Curie um, cardstock. Then I have a piece of the Designer Series paper, best year ever. This is free um, during celebration. If you head over to my blog, stampingwithlinda.com, you'll get all the measurements for this card. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to layer that on a piece of baked brown sugar. Going to add some snail to the back. I'm going to bring in my polyester ribbon. This is another item that is free um, during celebration. It is an accessory pack. It comes with buttons and this beautiful ribbon. I'm simply going to tie a square knot, so left over right, and right over left. By putting that adhesive on the back it just kind of holds that ribbon in place for me as I'm tying that knot. So I've got that, just going to trim that down. And then I'm going to mount that on the front of my Crush Curry card. I'm then going to bring in a dimensional and that scallop. Put that up towards the top. You made my day. Going to bring in the stamp and write markers. Again, I showed this technique yesterday. And I'm going to use the baked brown sugar on my thank you. This comes from a stamp set, I believe it's called Lots of thanks, and I'm just going to, oops, helps if I stamp it correctly. Going to add that image down there. So I've got my thank you. Next, what I'm going to do, I talked about the epoxy stickers. Was going to open this and forgot, and how fun these are with the blendabilities and coloring them. So we're going to use the star, but first what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into my Dazzling Details um, paper and I'm going to punch the star. Um, again, this is from the Itty Bitty um, Punch Pack. I just want a small piece of dimensional on that, I believe. You know what? I don't want that. I want a glue dot because I am going to use... So I'm going to put that on my scallop, not exactly right where I wanted it. So I don't know if you can see that very good in the video. Next what I'm going to do is go into those epoxies. I'm going to bring in my blendabilities and I'm going to take that star and I'm going to color that in the yellow. Going to find my paper piercer to see if I can lift that up with that. Maybe I don't need that. No, I don't. So this is just a little bit bigger than that punch, but I don't know. Yes, you can see the depth to that card. So next what I'm going to do, I'm going to go in with my Coastal Cabana and I'm going to color a couple in the Coastal Cabana, and I'm also going to take a bigger one here. Nope, you know what, let's take the heart and color in. Again, just giving some great accent. I think this time maybe I'm going to need My nails just don't, there we go, maybe just kind of tipping it so it says thank you. So I'm going to use that heart down there. See the little color with the blendabilities? And I'm going to take the star 
and just kind of put a couple stars around there. Just a fun card using the different styles that you can do with your markers and those new epoxy accent stickers. Hope you've enjoyed today's video. Talk to you real soon.